Hello everybody, my name is Nixium, and over on Wowhead right now, if you have not seen it, they have posted the intro cutscenes for every single allied race. I think it's every single allied race, I kind of just glanced at it. But along with the intro cinematics, we also have some in-game cinematics that are going to play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, watch these, show them to you, offer my thoughts, and let's just uh, check them out, shall we? The Void. A force of infinite hunger. Its whispers have broken the will of dragons and lured even the Titan's own children into madness. Sages and scholars fear the Void. But we understand a truth that they do not. That the Void is a power to be harnessed, to be bent by a will strong enough to command it. The Void has shaped us, changed us, but you will become its master. Wield the shadows as a weapon to save our world and defend the Alliance. All right, so the first thing to say is that that was the Void Elf intro. I, I, I didn't say that at the beginning of the video, but whatever. I'm pretty sure you figured that out within three seconds of the video starting. What do I have to say to that? Um, wielding a power that corrupts literally anything and is an all-consuming hunger. What could go wrong? Like, <laughs> what could go wrong, guys? I mean, come on. Like, it's just... It's just like a devouring a void seeking to undo all of creation. It's not a big deal. All right, but pretty cool. It looks like they get a cool little custom starting area. Sort of reminds me of the Warlock class order hall. I think that's pretty cool. It's the Warlock class order hall, but it's fucking purple. All right, and as we all know, purple is the new green. Let's watch the next one. This next cinematic or opening cutscene is for the Nightborn. So... Let's check out the Nightborn and Suramar, and then after this, there are two cutscenes that are also posted, which I'm assuming are from the Nightborn intro experience. So, let's check it out. For 10,000 years, Suramar was the only world we knew. As the ages passed, Azeroth changed around us and fell into the Legion's grasp. To secure our people's future, you must help reclaim our place in Azeroth. Venture forth alongside new allies, and show the world that the legacy of the Nightborn is one of nobility and strength. Alright, that was pretty cool. Pretty short, pretty to the point, but as it should be. I do like how there's this little nod that hey gonna be in the horde it's a horde race because you got the goblins walking around with their big old crates and stuff whatever pretty cool nightborn elves let's check out their cinematics shall we greetings lady liadrin champion Buns. welcome <laughs> back to suramar i am pleased to receive you under more pleasant circumstances it is good to see your city free first arcanist for that, we owe you both a great debt. You proved instrumental to our cause. The Horde was proud to fight by your side against the Burning Legion, my lady. I must admit, when I first learned of the Horde, I was skeptical that we would share common ground. I thought our kin from Kalimdor would make obvious allies, but their arrogance and mistrust soon proved otherwise. Arcanist Thalysra, I remember where your order stood in the War of the Ancients. How do we know you won't betray us and become the next Elisand, the next Ajara? We do not intend to be slaves to the Nightwell. We seek to drive the Legion from Suramar and put an end to Elisand's oppression. The Kaldori will fight to see the Legion defeated and the Nightwell destroyed. Beyond that, we shall see where Elune's wisdom guides us. It would seem Elune's wisdom guided her away from the bond we once shared. So be it. The Sindori are also scorned by Taranda and her prideful lot. 
Yet for many ages, her people slept in dens or hid in trees while my people fought to save this world. The Alliance feels too walled off, too cloistered. My people will never endure such stagnation again. That is why I am grateful for your invitation to Silvermoon. I would like to inquire whether there could be a place for the Nightborn in your... Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of got cut off there. So that was a cutscene that obviously is probably going to play shortly after making your Nightborn character. I like how the Nightborn and the Blood Elves are kind of united in their great effort to shit talk the Night Elves because they know that the Night Elves are obviously the cooler race to play as in World of Warcraft. So they're just really jelly, obviously, of the Night Elves and their trees and dens. At least it explains why the Nightborn have joined the Horde. And uh, it's just simply the Night Elves are assholes, which is great. Uh, this next cinematic is Nightborn Silvermoon City throne room cutscene. I would assume this is the cinematic that plays when the Nightborn join the horde. So let's check it out. First Arcanist Thalysra and honored guests, welcome to Silvermoon. It is a pleasure to visit your fine city at last. Thank you for extending the invitation, Regent Lord. Please, call me Lothamar. But where are my manners? Allow me to introduce another guest, Lady Illyria Windrunner, a hero of Silvermoon's past. An unexpected honor, Lady Windrunner. Silgren told me of your courage during the campaign on Argus. The honor is mine, First Arcanist. I do not mean to intrude upon your visit. Perhaps I should return another time. Nonsense. Whatever you came to say, you may say in front of our guests. As you wish. I come bearing an offer from High King Anduin Ri- I had hoped your visit was motivated by a love for Silvermoon. Instead, you come at the behest of the Alliance's Boy King. Yeah. How disappointing. That's right. Cutting words, Lothamar. Are they yours, I wonder? Or has the dutiful ranger I knew become the mouthpiece of your war chief? You doubt my words, yet how can we trust your own? Do you deny that the Lords of the Void whisper to you? Did you not surrender yourself to the shadows on Argus? It seems the offer I bring has been anticipated and spurned very well. But before I leave, I have one request. It has been a thousand years since I set eyes upon the Sunwell. May I visit it once again? I advise against it. We cannot trust that she will not- Whatever she has become, Illyria is a daughter of Quel'Thalas. I will not deny her pilgrimage to our most sacred site. First Arcanist, you and your retinue would be welcome to join us. I would consider it an honor to see the sun well, Lorthamar. And I prefer that my friends call me Thalysra. Ramoth, kindly open the way for us. Please, follow me. I like how Lorthramar is such a sleaze ball that he disses Alaria and her stupid offer from the Alliance right in front of the Nightborn to show them, yeah, we don't like the Alliance around here, so you Nightborn better get used to it. But then again, the Nightborn don't like the Alliance either, apparently, so Lorthramar is pretty savage. That's that's all I that's all I have to say. This next video is for the Light Forged Draenei. This is their opening cinematic. Let's check it out. We are soldiers. Through millennia of struggle, the light has shown us the true path. And in turn, we have been reborn as instruments of its power. You are light forged. You must stand as a beacon of hope against the darkness. But to those who would threaten this world, or attack our allies, you will embody the Light's wrath. This cinematic just lays it out right from the beginning. You are a badass Light Warrior, and you are going to do badass Light Warrior related things. And I think that's cool. This cinematic right here, 
unlock pre-scenario cutscene. Uh, it said above the video on Wowhead that this is where you learn about the light forged Draenei rituals or something. I have no idea what they're talking about, so I guess we're about to find out. My fellow soldiers, the trials you have endured are proof that the light shines bright within your hearts. One final test remains, and it is the most daunting of all. It will force you to peer into the very core of what you are, of what you believe yourself to be. Many worthy Dranai have undergone this trial, only to return broken, or worse. Should you feel the slightest doubt, turn back now. It will be counted as wisdom, not cowardice. But if you are truly ready, step forward and embrace your fate. Tapartos, we have discussed this. Each initiate must be accompanied by a second. Where is yours? Tepartos needs no one to aid him. The last initiate who attempted the trial alone came back in pieces. Choose a second or head back to the barracks. So be it. Tepartos shall bring... Uh, this puny <laughs> one. An unorthodox choice, but <laughs> technically within the rules. I have never known our champion to back down from a challenge. Let the trial begin. Light be with you both. Tepartos! Tepartos. Tepartos is so badass that his partner is literally going to be a flea on the ground. That's why you can't see it. It's just a fucking flea. But, no, nah, seriously. Also, this part. I have never known Wellesley to back down from a challenge. I, I didn't realize at first that that was, like, the player, the character... And I was like, man, Wellesley? That is the worst Draenei name I have ever heard. You got Tapartos, and then you got Wellesley. <laughs> but, okay. Alright. Pretty cool. I don't know what this challenge is, but I assume it has something to do with the Void. Um, again, you're a badass Lightforge Draenei, and you are doing badass things. And this right here is the one that I personally have been waiting for. I'm excited to see this. The High Mountain Torin intro cinematic. There's no cutscenes that are posted yet. Maybe they'll come later, but this is their intro on High Mountain, and this is one of the races I'm most excited to play, so let's let's check it out. High Mountain Torin. Yeah. High Mountain stands. These words speak of more than earth and stone. They tell the history of our people. Enduring hardship and conflict to unite against common foes. The time has come for you to venture beyond our sacred peaks. Walk the path that Huln took so very long ago and bring honor to the name High Mountain. All right, Blizzard, you did it. You nailed it. I love it. I like that idea of... You're a Tauren, well, excuse me, you're a High Mountain Tauren, and you've got this, like, clan, and you're a part of this group called High Mountain or whatever, this, like, these people, this tribe, and you're being told, you know what, it's time for you to venture past our sacred peaks, it's time for you to go out into the world, embrace your destiny, and see what can be found out there beyond our ancestral homeland. I love it, I love it, I love it, that is fantastic, that is fantastic. Perfect intro, exactly what I wanted from the High Mountain Tauren. You nailed it, Blizzard. You nailed it. Overall, I think these cinematics and the intros are really cool. I think in some of the cutscenes, Blizzard used a little too much static camera. Just, you know, a camera just sitting in one spot or maybe just slowly moving. You know, I'd rather, like, them do cutscenes like what we saw when Kill Jaden and Archimonde and Velen first met Sargeras. That was a really cool cutscene, for example. The different camera angles and stuff really freaking cool for just an in-game rendered cinematic not something like what Taryn Gregory and them make guys what'd you think what allied race are you excited to play as dark iron dwarves and Zandalari. 
But what what allied race are you excited to play as? My name is Nixium. Hope you enjoyed the little video and the little peek at these. And I will see you on my next video. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll see ya.